from July 5th, I was at a dead stop uh, waiting in front of ninth, uh, uh, right in front of Barnes grocery store and uh, waiting on a delivery truck to take a ride and a girl didn't, I don't think she ever saw my brake lights and slammed into me from the back. I was never able to return to work and they were my other family. Uh, it was just a, a, all girls, so they were my family, and I'm still in close contact with them, but that paycheck that I never saw again, could never get, you know, a headpiece on my head and or, or look at a, a computer for eight hours and look down and take notes, that was gone. So that right there was a big blow to me. With the spinal cord injury, I thought we're just going to start. We will just sit at home because we will not have money coming in but for gas. You know, to run the store, get that milk. So we had no other income, no other income but my husband's Social Security. And after being used to that check, you know, where the company I worked for, uh, and I was a head trainer, I was petrified. It was the most wonderful experience. He answered every question my husband and I had. He started um, getting back and forth on the computer, looking things up. He made me fully aware that he was going to do everything that he could to get uh, my disability for me, anything that he could do. Um, I can't even express the, I don't know what I would do without this. He saved my life. He saved our future, everything.